ladies and gentlemen let me look at this what up youtube uh i'm back on the channel with another reaction another night wish reaction honestly i have been trying to fix my bluetooth and shit for a while now connecting it to the speakers i think i've been going for like an hour i dozed off i woke back up i came up from the grave I tried again, I finally connected it after a freaking hour, I don't know what's been happening with my Bluetooth. And now I feel like I need to rush through this reaction before something else happens, you know. But I'm going to try and make it as quality as possible. And I'm leaving the freaking fan off, guys. Like, it's hot. It's hot out here in Africa. Uh, but yeah, man, we're going to be doing Nightwish, Ghost River. Let me look at this again, guys. Sorry. Ghost River, yeah. It's at whack in 2013. <laughs> Shit, yet again, I had to reset that thing up. It's at whack in 2013 yet again, and this was coming from. Um, I, I just faintly remember the ad. It's over here at SJC9121. That might be the ad. If I got it right, dude, you must be very important to me. Pause. Uh, but yeah, bro, I'm going to be doing your suggestion again. Pause. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, that that would uh, going basically going through the list that first list that y'all gave me the first time I did a reaction. So without further ado, let's get to it.
Shit. Shit, okay, so many thoughts. So many thoughts in terms of this. Uh, one, which is the first thought that I want to grab out of the, the hats to, to talk about? Let's talk about Floor and her vocals first off. Floor's vocals and the way she's doing, like, not only the... Um, the, the break in which like close to the end she did like a short bridge where she sings and then um which not, not where she sings she's been singing but uh basically like she there's a short bridge like at the end of the song where she like cuts it and then it's just her she appears again on her disney princess shit like ah i'm here daddy issues and then <laughs> basically just starts singing her ass off to the point where you're like oh shit it's a frozen moment and then it goes back to rocking out you know because of the daddy issues uh is one of the most magnificent things i have seen and witnessed that and the way she backs the vocals in terms of when the guy is saying that that chorus and then she's like in the background like 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 what you call doing like a like a vocal run it truly made me realize like not even made me realize it truly established in my mind how these guys make their music it's very cinematic it's very themed i think uh, most of the music nowadays especially in terms of popular music it's not so much like there's not much world building within music nowadays very few bands do it and like, it's not that popular i'm starting to realize and think you know because even when I do world building, I, I do it mostly in my head in terms of my own music. And then I just get back to our regularly scheduled programming. I don't really do uh, that much. Uh, wor- I try to do that much world building because I am like naturally dramatic, I've been told. Uh, but yeah, in terms of like just most music that's put out, there's not much world building. And Nightwish, from the first time I reacted to them up until now, it's still a whole lot of like world building all their songs are just like world building you always feel like you got this guy over here the one with the long beard every time he opens his mouth you feel like you died in battle and now the valkyries are coming for you and you're like shit man why was i born a viking man this seems like a very violent (laughs) life to live man like i i know it's like ah you score you know we're gonna die in battle and like we're gonna get like Bro, even like I'm sorry to go down this this uh this 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 wormhole, right? But even like the Viking mythology, guys, it seems kind of like it seems kind of like gloomy and sad. If I may, whoever like comes from a Viking country, like I want your opinions on this because like basically in terms of Viking mythology, you die, you go, you die in battle. Otherwise, if you don't die in battle, you basically um are sent to hell or the underworld or whatever and you under hell herself who actually despite like how hollywood has twisted uh mythology for entertainment hell is actually sort of like the good guy with the way she runs her own like underworld and a hellish kingdom and everything she really takes care of the souls that come down there as opposed to freaking odin who basically like you die you are forced to die in battle and die painfully and go to uh valhalla and basically drink with odin and uh like thor and like so proud and then basically you just train for the rest of the time in preparation for ragnarok which apparently has already happened and when ragnarok comes after like training all those years all those freaking millennia um you basically uh and through that training, you were dying multiple times. You you were coming back to life after dying multiple times. So already your afterlife is not that comfortable. You die again for the final time because Odin is set to lose the battle against hell and uh, everything. Like it seems like a very depressing thing because even like in terms of that mythology, I'm sorry, I'm supposed to be reacting to this, but like I am reacting to this because their singing gave me these type of like thoughts and like shit. Like even in terms of that like you basically destined to lose over here just to be accepted into a place full of violence that you're destined to lose anyway like and i've thought about how like we've grown up like admiring like viking mythology due to movies and shit and i was like when i when i since i'm a history buff when i've learned that shit i was like man this this seems like some bullshit man i feel sorry for the people of norway man (laughs) 
<laughs> like fuck man this is like some bullshit bro like hey man convert to christianity because we are promised peace love and uh kindness man when we die man none of that fuck. we fight over here when you get up there bro enough enough i never want to fight again once i'm in the afterlife bro um but yeah bro <laughs> all those visions came into my head um watching this and it feels every time that guy opens his mouth that i'm going through what the norwegians went through um in terms of their ragnarok or whatever the norwegians the who else is technically a viking the swedish the finnish i'm not sure uh but yeah dude there's that and then there's the guy the like front the what you call the main guitarist who looks like the dad from eight simple rules uh, the one who died, apparently he faked his own death in that, uh, what you call sitcom, and then came over here to be a guitarist for Nightwish. And, uh, yeah, dude, they just do a whole lot of world building, and it's it's really something special to see, honestly speaking. But I feel like it gets in the way with you getting really in touch with the lyrics, unless you're really in touch, unless you're really in love with the world building type of music that they do. If you're really in love with them, you will eventually get down to the nitty gritty and i feel like for a passive listener who just like thinks they're dope but then like isn't really in in yet with the world all the world building is dope but it might get in the way with them really focusing on what nightwish is trying to say but that's been me guys comment on everything i've said and everything i've noticed like there's a bunch of like uh, norwegians and finnish people and all of that that are in the comment sections whenever i do these nightwish reactions i'm always happy to have you guys uh, around comments in terms of uh, your culture and what you know about the viking history and everything uh, educate me on that uh, further and um, yeah comments on what you think about my uh, review of nightwish and everything you know um yeah guys like comment subscribe hit the post notifications and thank you for joining me today you guys take care Saw red hot men scope young Jacobs in Before we hit sin, grab your spine and bend Scream out